cells. The corneas, some anthropologists have to do with cold weather adaptations. Um, Neanderthals overall, since they are found in cold weather, from in Europe, we usually tend to see them uh, be short and stocky, and this is, again, Allen's and Bergman's rule. Um, the less surface area you have and the more volume, the more you can contain heat, which is good in cold weather. The taller and lengthier you are, you dissipate heat, um, which is good in warm weather. So these guys are around in cold weather, so you see very short and stocky. Uh, some other traits specific to them, they have a barrel chest, which means it flares out at the bottom. This large nasal capacity, um, again, large incisors you usually find with them. Uh, they have that occipital bun in the back, and this is a really good example here. Do you guys see that? You see that bun right there? A huge area. This bun right there. Okay. He's got a low and sloping forehead, so his forehead is not present at all like we see in the modern humans. Um, and again, their cranial capacity was greater than ours, but they're missing one of the most important parts is that development of the frontal lobe. So even though their brain is larger, it doesn't mean it's, it doesn't mean it's as complex as ours, which we can see because we end up developing culture in ways to adapt to our environment much more quickly than these guys do. So we showed up around 30,000 years ago in Europe, um, and within 5,000 years, we see the very last of the animals.